hey what's going on guys welcome back to our youtube channel and welcome to this video so this is part number 10 of our laravel for beginners tutorials and in this video we're going to cover how to display the information coming from our database and using the eloquent orm so we're, we're going to display our post so basically from the previous tutorial we have worked with our controller post controller and our post model and of course we have uh, laid out the basic layout of our index.blade.php wherein which we already uh, iterated the post coming from our database and also making our title as link so that we could click on that link and then be redirected to another page where in which we can see the full details of that particular post and also we have added the created at or written on the date and then I have realized that we are we use the class well which is not included in in bootstrap anymore so we're going to use card uh, for this class and in our app.blade.php file we're going to add the post uh, page so we have here all the items are all the links from our navigation so home services and about so we're going to add another link or another item in our navigation bar so this should be all about the blog which contain all the post and of course this should be all about post so let's go back to our browser and try to preview and uh, let's try to refresh the page so as you can see we now have the home services and of course the blog which is added recently so click on that and you can see we have here the post and I think we can take this further so instead uh, as you can see this is uh, somewhat ugly for now so let's try to uh, modify this in our code editor so let's go back here in our index.blade.php and as you can see we have here the card right but instead of using h3 I think we're gonna use the ul for now so this is coming from our uh, bootstrap integration also so ul so inside this and it should have a class um, list group and then uh, list group flush flush there you go and then of course inside here is the list item which is the title of our post so it should have a class uh, list group item and in here we're going to place instead of using the h3 so we're going to or i think we could keep this h3 in this area so h3 so there you go Instead of using H3 only, so we're pasting the title and the cre created at date inside a list item. We should reiterate the list item. So let's go back and try to add or remove this and add it here. And so with the closing div and closing l uh, unordered list tag so there you go and then save that and refresh so as you can see we have now a slightly different version of our post so uh, if we try to click on this post so we still have a blank page so we'll try to work on that for now and let's go back to our code editor so let's go to our post controller and as you can see we have here a function that says show that takes in a parameter id so we can just edit this function and try to return a single post so uh, return and then post and of course we can use a function here called find and then specifying the ID and let's just save this and try to preview in our page so refresh and here you can see that uh, this is the post one 
and this is the body of the post one so let's try to check and click on the post two so there you go the id is two and the title is post two and now let's take this further and try to beautify this instead of just seeing the array of data so let's go back to our code editor and um, instead of returning basically just the post so we're going to return a view just like what we have in our index function so post and then we're going to return a certain view so this view will be a post or under the folder post or directory post with the show that blade uh, that PHP file name and this should go with our post variable so and then the actual variable post and of course we can uh, try to get this on our post that show file so let's try to create that on our post directory so let's try to create a new file here so this should be uh, show that blade that PHP okay and then we're just going to copy the markup from this index that blade that PHP and paste it here and then we're going to extend the layouts as well and of course we can get rid of this because we're not dealing with we're not dealing with an array so we can just have or we can just use the post variable and then we can get the title from there and of course we can also get the other attributes so the post body and of course the created on uh, attribute so we're going to add it here by placing it inside a small tag so this should be written on and of course double curly braces and then our post variable with the created on attribute and i think we can add an hr here so hr horizontal rule and then of course we're going to add the body or the post body of the particular post so post and then the uh, body of the post so let's try to save this and uh, preview on our page so this is the current version all we see is an array of values coming from a particular post but if we try to refresh this now we can see the post title and the post body and of course the uh, I think we misspelled instead of using created on I think it is created uh, underscore AET or at and then save that and refresh so we have here all the information the post title post body and of course the created at uh, date so post one and then post two and I think we could also add a button or back button here so let's do that so above the post title we'll just try to add a back button here so it should be a link that goes to the post and of course it should go it should say go back and it should have a class of a button so btn and then btn default so save and refresh so we have here a link that uh, tells us to go back to the post or to the page where all the posts are displayed so I, there you go post 2 and then post 1 and then let's go back so what if you want to sort by maybe title or id ascending or descending so let's try that on our index function of our post controller so as you can see we are doing the post and then post model and then double double uh, colon and then all 
So we can actually sort by uh, title or ID. So whatever we want to sort by. So say for example, let's just comment this one out and try to copy that. So post, um, we can say here, order by and then the attribute that you want your records to be sorted by so title say for example in this case title and we can say descending or d uh, uh, d e s e and of course we need to say get and refresh here so as you can see now the post tool is the first one to appear here instead of the post one and if you try to go as uh, sort by ascending sort by title as ascending there you go refresh so the post one is the first one to appear here in our post page and actually you can also uh, use the SQL commands or SQL uh, statement in our controller to get all the posts coming from our database so all you have to do is use the DB class so actually I'm going to show you that real quick because it, it is very easy to get all the records coming from our database by using the DB class. So we're just going to use uh, DB and of course in here we're going to comment that one out for now and use this as our variable for a post. So post and then equals the DB and of course the select function and our sql command which is select all from post and then let's just save this and refresh so we still have all the post coming from our database so post one and post two so i think that's all for this particular video and in the next video we're going to discuss forms and how to save data so I hope you learned something from this video and see you in the next video. Thanks.